welcome to Steve McDonald's Arts and Crafts and today what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be doing another test using some nail art. Now I've got these glitter nail file f or fibres so I want to see what they look like in resin because I think they are going to come out really really pretty. And I've also got these little pots, and these were so cheap to buy as well. I will put the links to everything that I used today in the description below. And I've also got these little bits of sequin that I think are equally as pretty. And I'm really looking forward to using those as well. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. And ring my little bell. Ring my little bell. So you don't miss out and get notifications. What I will do is I will make some earrings out of these because I think they're going to make nice really pretty earrings so without too much further ado let's get on so I've got all my resin mixed up now and I've let it thicken up and I'm popping it in using a pipette because I find that for me in a lot of cases that's the easiest way but you don't have to do it like that you can just pour it in if you're able to do it and I'm filling these up about halfway and the reason I've let it thicken up is so that things don't sink to the bottom as I'm putting them in and I've made sure that I've only got a little bit of resin in each of my pots as well because I don't want it to cure up really, really quickly. And these are the fibres that I'm using. And my goodness me, was I messy with these. I couldn't control them. And what I do is I just pop them in and around and on everything else as well. <laughs> and then push them in using the tweezers. And I do add this other colour to them as well to give it a bit of dimension. If you'd like to buy me a coffee just to say thank you for all my videos and to help support this channel and get your name on next month's coffee board, then the link for that is in the description. It's really, really appreciated. Thank you. So I'm now adding a little bit of sequins into this as well to give it a little bit of, you know, difference really. Now these earrings that I'm doing now turn out to be my favourite ones. I really love how these turned out and I'm using these little balls and I'm not sure what you would use these little balls for in nail art but they are very pretty they're nice sh nicely shaped and they came in quite a few colors as well which was really handy for what i was doing so i'm popping in the next color and i really sorry I, I love these colors but i don't know what colors they are obviously being colorblind and doing this voiceover i haven't got it written down in front of me so i'm popping some other colors in there and i'm trying to keep them so they kind of match each other as well before I move on to the next one. Now I'm using these little teeny weeny tiny balls and these come in gold and silver and these were really easy to pop in just using uh, the, the adhesive that really from the resin that was on the tweezers and popping them in and putting them around and I like how these ones come out at the end as well. In fact I, I do like most of them. I think they all come out nice. They all have their differences. Now I'm just using this resin as you can see it's getting quite thick so that's why I'm really pleased it's only in a shallow pot just to fill up these moulds before I move on to the next ones that I'm going to do just in case this cures up beyond the point of being able to use it. So I'm filling these ones up which I'm sure look like A's but I don't think they're meant to be A's and popping in again half the amount of resin to the mould and now I'm using some of those little tiny balls again but these are kind of like transparent silvery ones and at the end you'll see how nice these ones come out they really do give it an accent. Now I'm putting in this nice colour ball, filling these up. And what the only one I haven't got now is one that's just sequins. So I'm popping some more resin and it is still manageable. And this is about 30, 40 minutes later. And this is the art resin by Resin Colour that I'm using. And just popping in the sequins here and getting a nice real texture and look of what's going on and a nice contrast between them. I will fill this up and then what I'll do is I will check it for bubbles using my long neck lighter. Never a torch because you don't want to burn the mould. And I've shown in one of my videos, I'll link at the end, on what that one is. And then I'll leave it to cure for 24 hours. Well these have all cured now and I'm really pleased with how they're looking at the moment. But the truth is in the demoulding. So this is the one with the little bits of the sequin. <laughs> They're really quite sparkly and very, very pretty. And they should be easy to turn into earrings. This is the one with the little glass or the little tiny weeny weeny balls. And it's great to be able to use your little tiny weeny weeny balls for things. This is the sequin and the, the little kind of 
coloured threads. Now, I have got some overpour on this, but that's easy to be dealt with. It's just a case of pulling that out and pulling it off. It was very, very thin. And I think they've come out nice. And these are the ones... I think these look like an A. <laughs> to be honest, but they've come out nice. Again, they were the little, some of the transparent -y kind of little balls and with the darker coloured balls. These are my favourite ones and I think it's because I really like the colours that are in these and I think they're quite bright and they're really quite cheery earrings. I'm not sure about these ones. I don't know. I think that stuff is quite messy about E, to be honest, if that's a word. I am going to have to go around and trim up where it was sticking out of the actual mould. It is quite pretty. Yeah, I would say that's pretty. I don't know. What do you think of that one? I'm not sure. Maybe if it had a different colour backing in it as well, it might look better. I'd be interested to see what you think of that. I do like how pretty the stuff is. And maybe I should have put more in and mixed it in with the resin first before I poured the resin in because that would have made possibly a little bit less mess and it would have been easier to get more in and spread it about, I think. But we will see. They are pretty. I like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and make these up. But all I'm going to be using for these is some of these findings and some jump rings. And you've seen me do this quite often in my other videos. All I do is I take my jewellery tools and I'll always list everything that I use jewellery tool wise in the description along with everything else. So let's do the A's first. I know they're not A's but they look like A's to me. I'm going to use a obviously a silver jump ring for this. Pop that there. All I do is close that up like so, and then you've got a finished and made earring. So I'm going to go ahead and make these up, and I'll show you what they look like finished. Am I going to have them in today, do you think? I'm not sure. There we go. There they're all finished, and I've put findings on them all. I am really pleased at how they've come out. Let me know what you think of them in the comments below. I'd be really interested to know what you think of them. I'm sure they're going to look amazing on. And obviously I've got my favourite ones here that I'm wearing because I think these are lovely. Not that I would go out in them because I'm not sure they suit me that much. <laughs> Don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. And remember to hit the notification bell. Ding -a -ling -a -ling -a -ling -a -ling. So you're notified when my other videos come out. Be sure to check out the video that's coming up next. And I'm going to be showing the video on how to put all your jewellery together. Lots of different things to be able to get all your pieces nicely finished off. And if you'd like to become a member or buy me a coffee just to say thank you for all my videos. And to help support my channel which is desperately in need of support at the moment then the links to that and the links to everything that I've used are in the description. Thank you very much. Enjoy your resin. Take care. Bye.